G'day YouTube, 1MJM, welcome back. All right, Friday evening here in Australia. Uh, interesting things happening in all sorts of markets. Obviously the whole Robin Hood thing uh, with the GameStop, uh, very, very interesting. Uh, you know, a bit of a shame that they shut it down. Uh, that really goes against, you know, what a free market is supposed to be all about. But I guess, you know, the traditional Wall Street guys are having a bit of a cry and probably got onto their... Uh, mates at Robin Hood and said you need to shut this down before we get completely ruined uh, and so that's what they've done uh, yeah I, I believe we really do need a free market with some regulation in there don't get me wrong you can't have just complete and outright scams but what the Wall Street bets guys did uh, it wasn't a pump and dump or anything they just stuck it back to the fat you know the fat cats uh, from Wall Street that have had it all their own way and they've done exactly what is happening to them right now they've gone and ruined retail investors many a times the way they were justified is oh we're you know representing our clients who are average you know investors as well though I, yeah, I don't completely agree with that. But anyway, let's move back to the crypto markets. Still way under, you know, a bit, well, not way under, but we're under a billion dollars at the moment. So 970 billion. And this does sort of continue to drop. It's been around 980, now it's 970. I think we were down at 960 billion there. So yeah, we, we really want to get back above that trillion dollar mark. But I do see the market continuing to slide for uh, a little bit longer, in all fairness. BTC dominance continues to drop. Uh, and Ethereum continues to rise. And it is interesting that, you know, the market cap is dropping uh, with some of the news that we'll look at. You would think it would sort of be going up, but no, apparently not at the moment. All right. As we can see, there's some green stuff here, but just nothing kind of spectacular, except for Dogecoin, of course. That's had an, an amazing pump. Uh, and what was else? There was another one. Anyway, we'll have a look. I know there was another one that did ridiculously well. So what are the big movers at the moment? Let's have a look. Doge. Uh, and yeah, Phantom. Again, I have no idea where that came from. Uh, you know, 480% in seven days. That is pretty good. Now, we can see that they're both uh, coming down though. Uh, it's, they're already having some substantial sort of drops here. So... Yeah, if you weren't smart enough to kind of take some profits at some stage uh, and m were maybe unlucky enough to buy at the very top, then you're probably going to get a little bit wrecked. But look, that's not to say they don't continue to pump a whole lot more, and particularly Go Dogecoin. You know, Twitter and TikTok and all that are really pushing it, so this may be just some people taking profits and a whole lot more people come in and it goes even higher. So we'll have to wait and see. Me personally, uh, I'm not buying it. Uh, Verge as well, out of nowhere. I don't know what's happening with Verge, but it has a, had a pretty good pump. Uh, Voyager token doing very well. So we can see some pretty good gains here uh, within the top 100. Some nice double digit gains, but that also in the last hour, that's over 24 hours, we can see some of that starting to retrace. And the weekend is upon us. Again, it's already here in Australia. It will start in the next sort of, you know, 24 hours or so in other parts of the world. And will we see our traditional weekend retracement? Or are we just going to have a big massive pump? I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, what about losses? Has there been any big losses in the top 100? No, there has not. And so I guess that's pretty good. Uh, you know, again, the market's not really doing too much in an overall sense. But on you know individual sort of tokens and that some are doing quite well and others are just kind of holding fairly steady like energy web token uh down a little bit but over seven days just kind of trading sideways so nothing too bad but then you can see things like uh Aave link so up 25 21 percent uh you know for the seven days and you look one inch uh has had quite a good pump but again we're starting to see some pullbacks but they're nothing major uh kyber network that's disappointing i thought they were going to do a lot better uh so i went and bought some uh on the news that they're bringing uh you know upgrading their uh decks and all the rest of it but anyway that's life you can't win them all i still like kyber network i like the fact that uh when you stake with kyber network you get paid out in ethereum once they can sort out the gas fees and things, uh, I'll be much happier with Kyber Network. But still love the project and love what the team's doing. So you just have to take those kind of hits sometimes. What can you do? But yeah, the market overall, nothing kind of too spectacular. Again, it's more so the market cap that is dipping. Now we go over to Bitcoin. It has broken me little squiggle. It's gone. So this was looking like it was pretty spot on for a while there, but the market did uh, bounce a little bit. 
but then it's also started to retrace a little bit. So we're really waiting to see what here, and it's completely possible that as the weekend is coming, this rolls over and we start to go down a little bit more. But look, there's no guarantees. We'll just have to wait and see. This could have been the bottom down here. We can see there's a bit of confluence around this sort of mark here. So around the 30-ish thousand dollar mark. And we did kind of get down to there and now we've bounced. You can't sort of bounce forever. There's always going to be some retracement. So is just this, sorry, is this just a little bit of retracement before we go higher? Time will tell. All right, grayscale. This is what makes me still bullish though. And it is, uh, does surprise me that, you know, Bitcoin isn't pumping a whole lot harder. So they are buying Bitcoin 54% faster than it's being mined uh, this year. Now we're still early in this year. That's not going to last forever. But obviously they still think Bitcoin is cheap at the moment. So they're buying it up. And that means a lot of people are jumping in and buying the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So institutional, um, you know, adoption and all the rest of it it is still occurring uh, and simply by the fact you can see there uh, that you know they're buying 54 percent that is being mined uh, but again they usually do, they don't buy from the market uh, they buy over the counter and all the rest of it otc so we'll just have to wait and see at some stage there's going to have to be some kind of squeeze uh, and bitcoin should move higher but just at the moment things are cooling off in the market people are probably chasing stuff you know, uh, on the stock market and then things like Doge. Uh, but other than that, I think, yeah, a little bit of indecision in the market. And again, it has quietened off and it was always going to. It can't just simply pump forever. All right, so Grayscale, they're not done. They are not done by a country mile when it comes to crypto. And look, that's what they're mainly known for anyway. But they're now expanding. So Grayscale Eyes DeFi Trust, uh, Eyes DeFi, sorry, registers trusts for Polkadot Aave and Cosmos. And look, it's not just that. It even says down here uh, that they have also filed doc documents for Cardano. So what I found interesting was Cosmos. I remember Mike Novogratz a while saying that he thought Cosmos was a very interesting uh, cryptocurrency. And I've had some for a while. I sold half of it because it uh, just didn't perform that well. And now with this news, uh, it makes me think, all right, I'm glad I've still got that half. Uh, and maybe there is uh, some upside for Cosmos. But again, just because Grayscale invests in something doesn't mean it is, that it's absolutely going to last forever. But it is pretty kind of bullish though. Uh, again, Decentraland, Tezos, not really much is happening with Tezos, but they've bought some anyway. Chainlink, love it. Decentraland, you know, that whole gaming sector, if you're into it, live peer, I don't know enough about it. Basic attention token, i.e. Uh, the uh, Brave uh, web browser token. I'm currently using Brave web browser now. Uh, and again, so now moving into Cardano as well, plus Aave. Well, of course, uh, you know, if you're going to get into any DeFi play, it'd have to be Aave. That's probably uh, one of the best ones out there, uh, in my personal opinion, anyway. Uh, and that's why I have a position in Aave, and I will continue to add to it. Uh, it is hard for people to buy Aave when they see it at two, three hundred dollars, but really the upside potential for them uh, is still a lot more. But you know, again, not financial advice, just my personal opinion. We haven't even got anywhere close to, uh, you know, really good retail adoption, let alone any institutional adoption uh, into these uh, kind of platforms. Gay, uh, gay scale, sorry, excuse me. Grayscale starting a trust in it doesn't automatically mean that uh, institutions are just going to pile, again, institutional uh, amounts of money into it. But it is a good start. All right, Ray Dalio. So he wasn't really bullish on Bitcoin for a while and he's come out and said some things that has people bullish. But we need to uh, have a look more into it. So Ray Dalio confirms Bitcoin is on Bridgewater Investments radar. So Ray Dalio, uh, he is the CEO of the biggest hedge fund um, in the world. And all he says is it's on their radar. He doesn't actually say he's going to buy it. And what I found interesting was if we go down here, Dalio hinted that Bridgewater would consider investing in it or other similar alternative assets. Uh, so he doesn't specifically say he's going to buy Bitcoin, although, you know, he may. But I think he's probably going to be looking at uh, other things are uh, similar that are probably a little bit cheaper. And we'll have to wait and see what he thinks that might be. Maybe Ethereum. Uh, maybe, you know, Bitcoin Cash instead of Bitcoin. Maybe Litecoin or something like that. You know, we'll have to wait and see. 
chances are he will probably lean towards Bitcoin, but maybe uh, he just, you know, again, because he just says they're only going to consider it at the moment, although the pressure will be pretty big for them to not invest in Bitcoin. But I'd say they'll probably go into other uh, alternative cryptos as well that he feels aren't uh, so uh, heavily overpriced and things like that. So interesting. All right, last but not least. So Facebook, they're finally getting everything up and going, you know, getting their wallet going, and uh, you can go and buy their stable coin. But what I found interesting down here is so you can download their wallet, a lot of KYC and all the rest of it, and then you can go and buy their DM, which is it's basically a stable coin, a dollar. So again, if you're in Australia, you'll get uh, a dollar, an Australian dollar. If you're in America, you'll get an American dollar and so on and so on. But guess how they want you to pay for it? Facebook is selling DM coins for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. I'd have to ask why you would do that. <laughs> why would you buy these, uh, buy basically fiat with, you know, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin Cash, uh, and Bitcoin? It's what we do the other way around. That is telling you how bullish Facebook is on cryptocurrencies. Not so much their DM coin. They know they'll sell the backside out of it. Like anyone who's in uh, Facebook and that, they're probably going to think, oh, you know, we can get into this DM. It's going to be worth heaps. Not understanding how it all works, realizing that they actually sold their you know, cryptocurrencies, which will likely go up in value for a stable coin. I wouldn't be selling uh, any of my Bitcoin or Ethereum. I don't have any Bitcoin cash uh, for this DM coin. Uh, there's no point. For me personally, I, I use Facebook and I like Facebook uh, as a platform, you know, to keep in contact uh, with other people and see things that they're doing. But I don't like some of the underhanded stuff they've done with people's privacies. And I certainly won't be touching this wallet. I have zero interest in it. But in saying that, you know, if you're trying to send money quickly overseas, this may end up being one of the quicker ways. But all I can say is I won't be spending any of my uh, cryptocurrency to try and swap for it. Uh, you know, this DM coin. I will be spending Australian dollars for this. Uh, you know, DM dollar that I can then send overseas. But yeah, I'll, I won't be handing over Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, for this. Uh, not a chance in hell. But I do like the way. Uh, Facebook is going about their business because I think they will make a mozza from this and they will have quite a stash of Bitcoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash uh, once they start doing this because people will uh, just naturally want to gravitate and use this uh, particularly in remote uh, areas where they don't really have great banking systems and all they have is maybe their phone and Facebook is one of the biggest apps uh, on phones out there if not possibly the biggest you know it'd be somewhere between you know Instagram Facebook snapchat Twitter and TikTok you know it'd be one of those and again I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Facebook let me know down below are you going to use this Facebook app and are you going to uh, buy these DM coins, which are basically stable coins for Bitcoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash? Would you actually trade your cryptocurrencies basically back for fiat? I know what my personal opinion is. Not a chance in hell. If for some reason I de do need to use this, the only way I'm doing it is I'll be, uh, if they don't have a sort of cash on ramp so I can put Australian dollars into you know the Facebook DM to then send stuff overseas, I will not... I repeat, I will not be using my Bitcoin or Ethereum, uh, and again, I don't have any Bitcoin cash, but to buy this coin, not a chance in hell. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Again, you know, there's definitely gains to be made, there, made out there in a few different altcoins, but, you know, kind of traveling sideways at the moment. Hopefully you're not doing too bad, and, you know, even better, I hope you're doing really well, and I'll see you next time.